This is her, Tina. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gita Mary and today I have the kind of long awaited compost guide for apartments, indoor composting. Once upon a time, a really, really long time ago, I made another video about indoor composting. And fun fact, that compost actually got stolen because I kept it outside in sort of this little communal yard thing. And it, it got stolen. It was a worm compost, which is different from what I have now. So if you're looking into worm composting, I suggest you watch that video, but I do not suggest that you put your worm compost where people can take it. So I've tried a few different methods of composting and this is one of the ones that I definitely seem to resonate with the most. It's the most convenient. It's also completely odor free, which is a really big plus when you don't have any place to store it other than your kitchen. So this is a compost guide. If you're looking to reduce your food waste or looking to repurpose that organic waste that ultimately finds its way to our bins. It's a waste to just toss it because there's plenty of ways that we can use those resources and that energy within our food scraps. And one way of doing that that's really convenient for people that live in apartments, flats, or generally just don't have access to, to gardens is a Bokashi compost, which is what I have now. My Bokashi compost looks like this. This is her. This is Tina the compost. Just gonna sit with this bucket on my lap. I got this from just a conventional gardening shop website. There are plenty of types of Bokashi. Some of them are more aesthetically pleasing than this. I did try one other type of Bokashi compost, which was like a small little round cylinder container. And the little mechanism, that's sort of really important, uh, didn't work. In that so I decided for this second try I recently moved into this apartment and composting was something that I really wanted to get back into and one thing that I really wanted was for things to work so I decided to just get one of the ones that isn't necessarily like pretty or trendy or whatnot but something that just works you know what I mean so this isn't from a specific like eco site I decided to get it from new because no one was selling Bokashi composts. I wonder why that is. Probably because they work so darn well. I want to talk about both why composting is important, but I also want to talk more specifically about how I do things, you know, like practically, how I go about my composting. So first of all, a little bit about the Bokashi compost in general. Bokashi composting is a type of fermentation composting. So really you have to touch it as little as possible. You have to let as little air into it as possible. So what I do instead, I don't open this box up every single day. That would be a little bit detrimental to the fermentation process. Instead, I keep a bowl on my kitchen counter with a little plate on top and I toss all my food scraps in there. I also still do the thing where I keep a jar in my freezer and then I put my food scraps in there, the ones that can be used to make veggie stock. So I keep my food scraps on the counter for a couple of days, especially so in Danish winter, spring, autumn. It's not really a problem. I'll have to reconsider how often I empty this bowl once it's starting to get warmer in the weather, just to not attract like fruit flies, etc. So I might have to do things more often, but generally speaking, I can keep that bowl on my counter for three to four days. Then once my bowl is full, I'll take it out into my compost. I have the compost. I started having it in my kitchen. Now I just have it in my hallway instead because I kept tripping over it. So now I have it in my hallway instead. I take my bowl and I empty it into my Bokashi compost and then I add this Bokashi granulate on top, which is supposed to help the fermentation process. The Bokashi granulate is pretty cheap and you can often buy it in bigger bags online. Once your Bokashi bucket is full, you'll have to let it sit and ferment for a solid two to three weeks. And every other day, every third day or so, you can drain it because there's a mesh layer in the bottom that separates the solid waste from this liquid that is generated through the fermentation process. And this liquid is absolutely amazing, like, like Bokashi juice. I don't know the formal term, but it is this sort of juice. It's very concentrated, so you can dilute it a little bit in water and use it to fertilize your plants. I use this on all my plants in my house. I use it on my herbs, etc. So some types of composts, especially the ones that use temperature, you can get like electric compost bins that break down your food 
faster. And those types of compost systems can actually break down things like meat and dairy and etc. That's not the case for a Bokashi compost. It's really recommended that you only use your Bokashi compost for plant-based foods, etc. I think you can do eggshells as well, don't think that is an issue. But overall, don't put meat into a Bokashi compost, that's just gonna be a bad day for everybody. So once your waste has fermented for two to three weeks, it will have reduced drastically in size. And that waste you can toss if you don't have any other options. You can also dig it down into your yard, add it to a big outdoor compost, add it to a communal compost, add it to garden waste, etc. Overall, I see so many advantages to having a compost at home. First of all, you become a lot more mindful and conscious with your food waste. You don't simply just toss out half a cabbage because you really don't know what to use it for and it's starting to look a little sus. You find more creative ways of using all your food because you don't want to fill up your compost bin instantly with things that you could otherwise have eaten. So for me, it's also a way of preventing food waste that's sort of derived from convenience. It's something that definitely has helped a lot in terms of how much food waste I generate. It also makes me more creative when it comes to finding ways to use things I would otherwise have thrown out. That's been a topic, uh, a video series on this channel as well for a really long time. And it's something I'm getting back into simply from using a compost system. Then there's also the fact that you use the resources that's stored inside your food waste. There's tons of energy in there. And you can use that instead of letting it go to waste. Now, just a little fact about Danish waste management systems. We burn all our waste that's not sorted as recycling. We burn it to produce energy in a waste to energy incinerator plant. That is not the absolutely most terrible way of dealing with trash. The absolute most terrible way of dealing with trash is landfills. So many places, landfill is the standard, landfill is the default option. And the fact that we use waste to energy incinerator plants doesn't mean that we are completely distant from landfills because Danish waste management actually still ships waste to landfills in Poland, Malaysia, etc. So it's by no means a perfect system, but it is a step in the right direction to utilize the resources. However, before you do that, and you can still do that with some things, there's no way to be 100% perfectly zero waste in a society not designed for it. But I think it's such a good idea to find ways of utilizing those stored resources in our food scraps instead of just throwing them away and then going out and buying fertilizers for our plants when we actually just threw out that same fertilizer. So another unexpected advantage of using a compost system is that you become a lot less squeamish when it comes to mold, dirt, food scraps, textures, gross things. Obviously you don't have to touch it, but simply just looking at it can be a little bit grim as well. And you become accustomed to that so quickly. And it's so handy to not be squeamish when it comes to those sorts of things. And um, if you feel like you're squeamish in the beginning, that's definitely just gonna go away because you get used to it. And I can see a lot of applicability in other situations from that specific effect. When it comes to using the Bokashi compost system, I actually, not very long ago in a recent video, I showed a little bit about how I do that at home and I made a huge mistake that I would like to correct now in this video. I showed how I put my scraps into the compost and then I used this mesh top to sort of press everything down. I did that because in the last Bokashi bucket I had, I had this mesh layer that had to push everything down in order to push all the air out of the waste and so there wasn't any air bubbles in because this fermentation process works the best if there is no air and you usually get like this little like stomping device so you can press as much air out as possible in my last bucket that was like a whole top that you would sort of press everything down and it took up the entire space i thought that this mesh layer that came with this bucket was the same however obviously obviously that was actually indeed the mesh layer that was supposed to go underneath the food scraps so when you try to drain your bokashi it doesn't like get stuck because solid waste is trying to get out as well which makes perfect perfect sense oh it's just a little slow so what you do when you want to prepare your bokashi compost is that you put the mesh layer on the bottom then you add your food scraps on top then you add some of the bokashi granulate and then you press all the air out and then you put the lid on and then you let it sit there 
until you need to put something more on top. Always adding more granulate on top. And that's how you use a Bokashi compost. Super easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions about composting, how to do it in an apartment, etc 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 if you have any questions that i didn't get to in this video let me know and i'll definitely reply to them down below thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys next time take really good care of yourselves until then bye thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my patreon supporters you guys help me create green zero waste contents and i love you guys you can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my patreon on this screen bye